Hi, this is Comteen from the band Chain Gang of 1974, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with the Chain Gang of 1974. Hello. Hi Cam, how are you? I'm wonderful, how are you? I'm great, thanks for joining me today. Of course, thank you. We're about to catch you live tonight in Toronto, a sold-out show with AFI. Yes. You're a big fan of these guys, and we're pretty honored to hit the road with them. So did oh, you yeah. freak out a bit when you found out that this was going to happen? Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of rad things happen throughout my career, and I think through like the 10 years of existence with this band, but um, definitely like when this tour happened was one of those things that I don't think I ever expected to happen. Um, it was a pretty incredible offer, pretty incredible email when it initially happened, when it was just like, hey... Hey, if I want to take you guys out for two weeks, um, and yeah, it's been it's been awesome. This is the last night of the tour. You know, we were only doing the first leg, but it's been really cool um, playing to a lot of new faces. You know, and bringing our music to a lot of new people. So it's been everything we wanted. Well, tonight's a little bittersweet. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. You know, but we're it's a celebration. It's pretty. Again, this is like a, a dream come true, and um, I grew up with this band, and I think we all did, and. Those are always the cool moments, I think, within a musical career. It's when someone you admire, people you admire, start to take notice of what you're doing and what you're creating. And like that to me is like better than selling a million records, which I don't know about, but still, I would assume so. Yeah. What's more nerve wracking for you, the headline slot or the support slot? Or do you still get nervous for shows? I don't necessarily get nervous anymore. Um, you know, there there are a bit of jitters and sometimes some nerves, but. Um, I'm excited for the headlining shows. I think a tour like this, there are a bit more nerves, only because being so familiar with this with AFI and knowing their fan base and knowing that it's a very close knit community and you know their fans are diehard, diehard fans, and we are so you know appreciative and um, that they give us the respect to come out on stage and you know play them our songs. So this tour was a little nerve wracking in the beginning. You know, there were some moments where you can tell it's like they're like they're here for AFI and kind of like that's it um, but I respect it I respect it I grew up in that scene and like that's kind of what I expected it's a fun challenge to have to win them over every night though um, it is yeah it is and you know what it, it honestly hasn't even been like that much of a challenge per se it's just it's been um, they've been so welcoming and, and respectful it's been awesome on the music front, you have a great new single out called Slow. Thank for you. For me, I'm really digging the video because right away I noticed that's Tears for Fears. There's a cameo from Kurt in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you love a lot of new wave bands. Yeah. Tears for Fears are a big influence on you. Yes. So you must have just completely geeked out. That was um, that was pretty incredible. And, you know, I've been asked that question recently. And I still, and my answer is, my answer to it is always, um, I still haven't really wrapped my head around it yet. And I have to stop and think, like, holy shit, like, Kurt Smith from Tears of Fears is like <laughs> said yes like I want to be in this video like I love the song I want to be a part of this um, so it was pretty incredible the the directors we worked with um, Ride or Cry the production team they have had relationships with uh, uh, they had a relationship with Tears of Fears um, from a social media standpoint I believe so there was a connection and uh, Morgan who directed the video had kind of just like a wild idea told me about it and I was just like look I mean I don't see this happening but Go for it. Contact contact them. And a couple days later, I saw the email from Kurt. Wow. He's like, I love the song. I'll be there. And um, it was pretty amazing having him walk in, meeting him. Um, such a gentleman, such an awesome guy. And it's crazy. It's still like, I still don't really have the words for it, but it was amazing. Yeah. Aside from having him in the video, it's just you and a dance floor. So what was that like? Um, we, I think, well, for us, and I think Morgan as well, they wanted um, to really get across the live energy that Changing has at a concert. Um, we, you know, we all come from the punk punk rock background, so we kind of enjoy letting loose up there. And um, most of my videos, I'm never really in it. Um, so we want to kind of really show the face of the band, I guess, this time. And um, we just had fun. Yeah, we did three takes, I believe. And we, like, the third one was kind of, like, the one, which was awesome. So we did one day of filming of kind of the, the projection oh. shots. And then um, the second day was just the one shot takes. We did we did three times, I think, but the third time was third like- Third time's a charm. Third time was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna go into this. I remember what I did last time. I'm gonna kind of just like, let's just do it. And then uh, Kurt came in, shot his part. We just like quickly within 30 minutes turned that into a projection and then like did it all. So it was like, it was, it was pretty rad how it was done. And it was quick and awesome and easy and I loved it. From this tour, I have a couple of tweets that you sent out that I would love to hear the story behind. Okay. So the first one God, is, I'm... 
I'm for, I forgot what I tweeted to say this. <laughs> this will be a fun little reminder. The first one that you tweeted and sent out was, I still look up at the stars every night and dream of seeing a UFO. Do you believe in aliens? I do, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm a big fan of all that stuff. I'm obsessed with X-Files. Um, and I, yeah, I, I really want to find proof. I, I would love to just see that. Be incredible. What would you do if you just happened to encounter something I'd probably like freak that? out. Would you? I mean, I'd probably freak out, but I definitely do believe in it. I definitely do believe that. I mean, there has to be other life forms out there, like... You know, to what capacity, who knows. But with all that space, there has to be something. So. And the other tweet that caught my eye, because I just thought this was absolutely crazy. He said to the guy or girl who threw a glass on stage tonight, oh, you're a big human being. That's something Trump would have done. I mean, people can be insane. I've seen stuff like that at shows. So I was just wondering, like, what actually happened Um, there? I mean, that was that was the first time that's ever happened um, to me in my, you know, my musical career. Um, it was on this tour. It was in Vancouver. And, um, yeah, it was just, like, mid-song, and I guess if someone wasn't stoked that we were at the show. And Crazy. Um, it's all good. The crowd was really, really rad about it and instantly started, like, booing the person and, like, you know, cheering us on. And um, so that was cool. That was that was awesome to have that support. But, yeah, it was it was a little weird. I've, I've never experienced something like that before, but it just, like, I turned that anger into energy for the last song we played, and yeah. I kind of, like, went a little crazy up there but it was fun <laughs> it's amazing that the fans especially like i can imagine with the afi crowd but that's what they i'm saying totally like, Dude, yeah that, that doesn't fly exactly exactly um so it's, it's kind of interesting that that person chose to take that action um because i don't think it's really acceptable within that afi fan base but it is what it is you know I'm, i maybe lost a little bit of sleep over it but i feel good yeah. To wrap things up, I want to leave it on all of your amazing fans. Is there anything that you want to leave with all of them who will be viewing? Um, new record is out is coming out very soon. Exciting time. Yeah, I'm excited. It'll be good. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for joining me. Thank today. you. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.